Welcome, and following the QBot X18, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, as you can see, the one that I have right here is already locked, and to finish up the setup, I'll need to provide the previously used Google account. Now, assuming we don't know it, we can bypass this. So, uh, for the process, we'll need a SIM, or not SIM card, but SD card, and you want to load up uh, two applications that are provided in the description, so simply download them, uh, put them on the SD and then you can insert it into the device and the two applications are the FRP bypass for Android uh, 712 uh, slash 10 and settings application. So once you got those, what you want to do is pop it into your phone. Now also you do want to be connected to Wi-Fi, which you probably already are if you're seeing your verification screen. So anyway, once you insert that SIM, uh, SD card, you will have this page right here, or pop up up here. So simply tap on OK. And this will open up the storage settings where you'll have your SD card, which you can interact with, and it will take you to the actual storage. From here, I'm gonna start off with the FRP VROM bypass up, tap on it. Once it brings up the uh, this little window right here that we need to enable unknown sources, check the settings option, uh, enable the unknown sources right over here and tap on OK. And also we're going to go into the device admin while we're at it and disable the find my device. So deactivate device admin, there we go. And from here we can go back, tap on the application once more, and this time around we'll be able to install it. And once it's done installing, click on the done button and then install settings. And this time around we're going to open settings up. And you want to go to applications right here in the settings and then tap on the three dots and go to show system. Scroll down to G. We're looking for Google Play services. So right over here. I'm going to select it, choose disable, disable app. And now we can go back. As you can see it's disabled right here. So let's go back once more. And from here we're going to scroll down to accounts right over here select add account and choose google and there we go so here we can log in with our google account now it does give us an option to create an account i have never tested it so i don't know how well this works because right now the google login page it is uh, it is being done by the actual like application that we have installed the frp bypass app Without that application being installed, uh, Google is not an option here uh, when the device is locked. So anyway, I'm going to log in right here with my existing account. You can create one just for this purpose if you don't feel comfortable using your already existing account. So anyway, let's log in. And I'm going to put in a password for it, so let me just move it off the screen. Let's log in. agree. Now you will see this pop up several more times throughout the process and it's completely fine. Uh, the app that even though it's crashing right now, it's already done its purpose. Without it, uh, we wouldn't be able to add a Google account. If you go back to well, adding account, uh, this app just literally adds uh, Google as an option here. Without it, we all only have well, everything apart from the Google. So, once you have added your Google account, you want to go back to the applications that we have disabled. So, let's go back to apps. Again, let's tap on the three dots, show system, and scroll down to, whoops, a little bit too far. There we go, Google Play services. And this time around, you want to enable it. And once you do so, once it's enabled, hold power key and select reboot. And as you can see, we're now back up. So let's go through the setup. And you should see right now a key difference when you reach uh, the same page that was previously telling us that we need to verify the account. And uh, this time around, it will tell us that account was added. So let's just get to this so you can see. 
and there we go as you can see it pops us up with an info account added and this is the account that i have added right before i rebooted the device and for you it should be the same thing just a different email I have the email that you have provided so from here we can simply tap on next and basically finish up the setup now i'll also mention that the process isn't finished just yet uh, we still need to perform a factory reset of the device through settings to basically get rid of the old account because it is still on the device it's just not showing up anymore at least not at this moment skip skip anyway now while going to the setup i would recommend you just to skip as much as you can because it doesn't really matter what we set up right now and once you gain access to the home screen uh, we will go into the settings so let's disregard this uh, application just constantly crashing it doesn't really matter like i said so from here let's go into the settings scroll all the way down to backup and reset choose factory data reset and then reset phone erase everything and the process will now begin so this will take a couple of minutes just be patient and once it's finished we'll then be taken back to the setup of the device but at that point the device will be fully unlocked so you can just set it up however you like so i'll be back once the factory reset is finished Okay, so you can see now the process has finished and now we can set up our device in whatever way we want. Now, once more, I'm just going to skip most of it, but you can probably see throughout the setup, there's going to be a couple differences. So number one, we should be able to skip Wi-Fi connection. And that will also in turn not pop up any kind of need to log into Google account. And even if you connect to Wi-Fi, it just allows you to log into Google account if you want to, if you don't, you can simply skip it. And there we go. As you can see, now the setup is complete. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.